In Paul's letters, we read three times about his testimony to believers that they had first faith in the Lord Jesus and second, law for all the saints. Twice, Paul writes it to an assembly, to Ephesus and to Colossae, but once also to Philemon. Today, we want to think about what we can learn from it, and we read Philemon 1, verse 5. Hearing of your love and faith, which you have toward the Lord Jesus and toward all the saints. First, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It is not simply that Philemon had believed anything, but it is that he had believed in the Lord Jesus. It is quite clear that it is not just that one believes, but rather the question is what one believes or whom one believes. Sometimes you hear people say, I have my faith. That alone says nothing. Faith alone is not enough. It must be faith in the Lord Jesus, who has never disappointed anyone who trusts him. Any other faith ends in eternal fiasco. Second, love for all the saints. The love spoken of in our verse is the result of faith and a proof that faith is genuine. It is the selfless love with which God has loved us. This love is shown in devotion and in deeds and is willing to renounce for others. It finds its source in communion with the Lord Jesus. Faith is vertical. It connects us with the invisible things of heaven and with the person of the Lord Jesus Christ who is there. Love for all the saints is horizontal and it connects us with our brothers and sisters in faith. By love in this verse, it is not meant a nice feeling or natural sympathy and friendship. It is far more. Love goes out to all the saints. It makes no distinctions. It loves because the object of love is as much a saint as I am. John says it in slightly different words in 1 John 5 verse 1. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone who loves him, who begot also loves him who is begotten of him. This is not about whether I like someone or not. It is not about whether someone lives holy or not. But it's about someone being a saint. And that is someone who belongs to God. If someone belongs to God, I will love him. The actual expression of love might well vary depending on the behavior of a believer. For instance, Parents will treat their child who goes wayward ways differently from a child who brings them joy. Yet they will love both children. They will just show it differently. Joseph once spoke harshly to his brothers. Yet that very thing was love, as we read it in Genesis 42, verse 7 and 30. Third, faith and love belong together. From what we have seen, it is already clear that faith and love are inseparable. Love for the saints is inseparable from faith in the Lord Jesus. You cannot have one without the other. One cannot believe in the Lord Jesus without loving the saints. Conversely, one cannot love all the saints without believing in the Lord Jesus. People have compared faith and love to a dot and a circle. Faith in the Lord Jesus is the central point, while love for all the saints is the circle. When faith has the right center, our love has the right circumference. It is like a compass that draws a uniform circle only when it's firmly set in the center. The circle includes all the saints. The center is the Lord Jesus. Faith and love are two central elements that characterize a true Christian. Does it characterize you and me too?